Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to show how to calculate BMI. So let's get started. BMI stands for Body Mass Index and this is one of the anthropometric measurements that we collect during a health assessment, along with other measurements such as skin fold thickness, height, weight, and so on. Now BMI scores are really helpful because they allow us to screen patients for potential health problems. So in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate this number manually. So first what you want to do is you want to collect the patient's weight and height. Then once you have that, you want to use a formula and plug in the information you have into whatever formula you want to use. Now the formula that you use is the same for adults and children, male or female, but it depends on which measurement system you're using. For example, if you're using the imperial system, such as pounds and inches, you're going to use this formula. But if you are using the metric units, like kilograms and meters, you would use this formula. So first what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula because our example over here is in imperial units. So here our patient weighs 167 pounds and they have a height of six feet. And because we're dealing with pounds and feet, we can use this formula right here. But notice in this height part, it needs to be in inches. So quickly what we need to do is we need to convert six feet into inches. And to do that, you wanna ask yourself, how many inches are in one foot? Well, we know that there are 12 inches in one foot. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 12 by 6, and that gives us 72. So 6 feet is equivalent to 72 inches. Now we are ready to use our formula. So first let's plug in our weight, which was 167 pounds. So 167 and we are going to divide that into the height in inches, but it's going to be squared. So don't forget to bring down your square part because that's a part you could easily forget. So we're gonna put in 72 inches. That's what we just figured out with our conversion. And we're going to square that. So we're gonna put a little two there to remind us. And we're gonna multiply that by 703. So let's go ahead and square this out. When we um, say 72 squared, that gives us 5,000. 184. We're going to put 167 up there, bring that down so we don't forget our little 703 because I would really throw off our equation. So 167 divided by 5184, that gives us 0 0.032214 and it literally keeps going on. So we're going to round to the fourth decimal point, which is the 10 thousandths place. Now round how your professor wants you to round, so follow their rounding rules. But we're going to round to the fourth decimal place, which will give us 0 0.0322. Makes things a little bit simpler. And then we're going to multiply that by 703. So when we multiply all that out, we get 22.6366 and we're going to round our BMI to that first decimal place which is the tenths place and whenever we do that we get a BMI of 22.6 and that is our answer. Our next patient weighs 64.5 kilograms and they have a height of 1.65 meters. So we're dealing with kilograms and meters, therefore we can use this formula right here which is in the metric units. And notice this formula is a little bit different than this one because we don't have to multiply by 703. So that's one less step that we have to take. So it's a little bit more simpler. We're gonna plug it in. So our patient's weight in kilograms is 64.5. So 64.5. Our height is in meters and they had a height of 1.65 meters. And remember, don't forget to square. So we're going to square it. So let's go ahead and square that out. So 1.65 squared gives us 2.7225. And we're going to bring down our 64.5 and we're going to just divide that out. So whenever we divide that out, we're going to get 23.6914 and we're going to round to our nearest tenth, that first decimal point, and that's going to give us 23.7 as the BMI of our patient. 
Now, how do we interpret these BMI scores that we get? Well, once you have the BMI number, you can see which category the patient fits in per the CDC's guidelines. And these are the same for both adult females and males. Therefore, in our first example that we worked, our patient's BMI was 22.6, which falls into a healthy weight category. Because you can see here, if the BMI is below 18.5, that's considered underweight. If it's 18.5 to 24.9, that's a healthy weight. If it's 25 to 29.9, that's overweight. And anything 30 and above is considered obesity. Now, if you wanna know the BMI ranges for children and teens, the CDC public publishes individual charts for boys and girls. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to calculate a BMI. And if you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.